Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to some of the best quarantine friendly Pokemon Go content on YouTube from the most sunburnt YouTuber on YouTube. I'm peeling on my, on my face. Do you see it? My nose is in shambles right now. This is the last day for the bug out event here in Pokemon Go, and I wanted to make sure and properly grind it a little bit uh, with some lures, some incense, and then obviously oh, some live streams. Uh, because we did end up getting a shiny actually yesterday live on stream, which was super hype. So we're gonna see if we can get one today while kind of just hanging out and farming the rest of this bug out event because you know it's lit. And I oh, I don't have Dwebble yet. Y'all get Dwebble? Yeah, we've got the two times catch XP and the uh, featured Pokemon on incense, so we might as well just do that as much as we can. Also, it is July first. Happy July! We've had one heck of a year, uh, but hey, this represents a brand new month in this very hectic, wild year. So let's all make this a good month. Yeah, good month updates. We got Pokemon Go Fest. We got the 4th of July coming up. Good month. There's the three day streak. I, no, no start beast down. I really, wow, that was a 98 IV Poliwag. Jeez, that's kind of a beast. Want to see me transfer a 98 IV Poliwag? Yo, I got a, I got a storage problem, man. Look, I, 2984 out of 3000. I have an issue. Uh, don't get me wrong. I got a lot of cool Pokemon I'm saving, but like with Go Fest coming up, I need like I need to clear up like a good like 900 spaces in my storage. So I really hope I can trade with the boys before that happens. Otherwise, things are just getting transferred that I don't want to transfer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah let's keep uh, let's keep a rock in. Oh, dude, I haven't seen shiny shuckle since uh, since Singapore. I, that's just not one that sparkles that often. Also, a lot of a lot of people getting shiny weedle that aren't very happy about it from this event, which is actually kind of funny. <laughs> and, okay, cluster's a little bit lacking today. Not gonna lie. So hopefully the the spawns at Evolution Park are popping. We'll have to see though. What's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? Oh, Dwebble, hello, my friend. And maybe, just maybe, we can get lucky with uh, some Dwebble, Dwebble field research or sparkly action. But let's get it. Last day, bug out event. Well, back at the park, and it's uh, it's oh god, popping here today, and popping some eggs today. Kind of a big goal of this whole park thing is to to get some five kilometers off because I know the five Ks are themed and they're like the event five Ks. I'm not the biggest like five K guy, or really egg guy. I'm actually pissed at the eggs. Also, speaking of me being pissed at things, I think this is an onyx nest. Like I think Pokemon Go is really trying to give it to me right now. I, I don't know why. I don't know what I did. Also, love disc massive. If I walk away here with a shiny onyx and nothing oh my god oh my god oh dude i um <laughs> i don't know what to say i'm so pissed i'm so pissed it's like it's like it, it, it's as if the developers of this game know that i hate this pokemon and specifically code it so that my rates for Shiny Onyx are higher than anyone else's. Yes slash no. Yes. <laughs> Oof, this is hard. It's like every other Onyx I click on is a Shiny. And, and then I don't get anything else. Dude, I would love a Shiny like Nikata. I would love a Shiny uh, Oddish. I would like, or, or a, maybe like a Scorpy spawn. Dude, we've got nothing. Also, there's so many police officers here. Is everybody okay? Because I'm not. Cause shiny onyx. Also this stupid mask that I have is not that wearing a mask is stupid, put your damn masks on, but like this mask specifically. Do I just gotta bend it more, bro? Like, I can't talk, I can't commentate with this. Well we savage seasoned, that didn't work. We savage seasoned this onyx. So that's down, 71 CP. <laughs> oh, wow, wow, yeah. Yeah, that better not happen again, man. I'm gonna be infuriated. And the, you know the worst part is? I'm gonna lure this entire park up, right? These four stops, we're gonna walk around, we're gonna catch everything, and the likelihood of me pulling a shiny from the event, it's not high. We pr it probably won't happen. But the first onyx that I click on, sparkles? Dude, <laughs> why? Here we go with the 5Ks. And while we're doing this, I wanted to talk about something. Oh, we hopefully hatch something cool. It's looking like in a lot of uh, in a lot of countries out there, some of your countries as well, viewers, because remember we've got we've got a lot of viewers in the US, but we've got a lot of people internationally, which is why this uh, I'm going to take this mask down just because 
There's nobody within like 50 feet of me right now, which is ironic because what we're going to talk about, I know some of you guys' countries are starting to open back up. You're able to walk around, go outside. Some schools are reopening, restaurants, stores, whatnot's reopening. Uh, you know, this game is all about going outside and playing Pokemon Go, right? Going outside and adventuring, going outside and catching as we're doing right now. I kind of want to give a little update uh, on the U.S. because I'm sure a lot of you people from the U.S. are seeing what's going on and a lot of people outside of the U.S. are seeing what's going on. I know that we use, uh, we a lot of us use Pokemon Go and a lot of people use my channel as like kind of an escape. Holy scorpion. Hold on. Oh, dude, this is maybe the third Scorpio I've seen this entire event. Granted, I took two days off to spend with Lauren for a one year, but this is like, I, th it doesn't spawn. Oh my god. 2,996 encounters for Shiny Scorpion Pokemon Shield. Wretched. And it doesn't even spawn during its own event. Scorpy, you are a horrible person. So with, with Pokemon Go, dude, are you freaking, relax, guy. With Pokemon Go and with like going out, obviously, you know, Lauren and I, you saw the video, we went to a like resort in California and I've been going to restaurants and whatnot. Um, yeah, I kinda just wanna make it clear that like, you know, the, the, there are places doing it well when it comes to like reopening and safety uh, and places that are not doing it well. Also, we've had mass protests and riots in the US and like, you know, that obviously is not helping with the COVID situation. There's a lot going on when it comes to uh, uh, this sickness virus. So the Pokemon Go content, you know, although some places are starting to reopen, I hope that your community gets to reopen, you know, quickly and safely without infections or anything like that. You can get back outside and play in Pokemon Go. Uh, it's looking like LA is probably gonna have to start shutting down a little bit again. So we're gonna keep, you know, staying outside, walking around, doing as much as we can. Um, you know, as safely as we can, that is. Because the grind freaking continues, and with this month actually comes the GoFest challenges, which is very, very exciting. That You know, we wanna be out, we wanna be grinding for it, and then we've got GoFest itself happening too. Um, and I think I've explained this, and I, you, I, the plans are, are very tentative right now. That's a good pan pour, if you can, if you consider pan pour good. Plans are really tentative right now for GoFest, but it's looking like uh, day one, I'm gonna live stream the entire 10 hours on Twitch, and then day two, we will be going, uh, I'll be driving up to the Bay Area to go spend day two with uh, JT Gilly, with Jake, with Connor, and with all the boys up there. Um, you know, assuming that we're, we're it's it's safe to do so, which right now is questionable. Uh, we'll see where that all goes and where that all ends up. But yeah, it's you know we're we're in an interesting situation in the U.S. I, when this all started off, I like I said and I called it, pat myself on the back, but I was like, the U.S. is gonna get I mean the worst the worst th situation possible because like when it when the thing started, it was like over politicized by some and then not taken seriously at all by others to the point where oh, it just we just didn't do it right in the US. You know what I'm saying? Now we're suffering from it. So, like with a game like Pokemon Go, where we all want to get out and play, uh, it's important that we can get out and play safely. And community is a big aspect, you know what I'm saying? So, we can, we can meet up with our local communities and do raids. Um, so, it's going to be interesting seeing the dynamic of the game over the next, like, yeah, I mean, really the next, the rest of this year, because you know, in the U.S., we're we're still on our first wave, and it, cases are absolutely spiking right now. Well, I, th I think I think hospitalizations and deaths are declining, so that's good. That's a great metric. But uh, I do want to say that you know, when I do go out to a restaurant or when I go to this, you know, like a resort, um, the precautions that are being taken are like very good, right? Like the place is like half empty. People are spread apart from each other. People are wearing masks when you enter the restaurant and when you walk around the restaurant. Uh, the servers and you know all the people preparing food are all wearing masks. So it's like, it's done very safely, uh, at least in, in California and the restaurants that we've been out to. So that's very nice because I could already, I, I haven't read the comments, but I'm assuming that there's a lot in there criticizing my, uh, <laughs> my, my mobility during this time. Just know that, you know, we're, we're, we're taking it the safe way. And then obviously I've been grinding on Twitch, so a lot of my time is spent indoors anyways, but yeah, no, that's kind of like the, I guess this the serious talk that I wanted to have. It wasn't that serious. But hey, when it comes to masks, just put the damn mask on, man. Now I do understand, so get, maybe a cloth mask it would be, work a little bit better, or one that's like a little bit more heavy duty, because I will say that this blue one right here, this, this seems like the most popular mask everyone's wearing, like, you can't talk with it on, man. It's, it's just, this one's a, this is a bad mask. There's good masks out there. I actually ordered a, an Andrew Yang, face mask. Looking forward to that coming in. Yeah, so uh, those are the vibes here. That's the update in the US. Let's get, speaking of shinies, wait, we had a clip from yesterday's live stream where I got a shiny Scyther in Pokemon Go. It's actually this bad boy right here. 1199 CP, shiny Scyther, which was fantastic. So, roll it. Continue it from Gross Meta, thank you, the Hornet. Blue light, three months, welcome back. Yo, let's get it. Shiny Scyther! Let's go! 
26 minutes into the stream, we got a shiny. Oh my god. Shiny Scyther. <laughs> no way. Let's get it. Oh my god. I can't like raise my arms in excitement because I'm so freaking sunburned. It hurts my shoulders. Oh, hold on. I just wanted to clarify a position or, or, or a statement that I made when I said that the U.S. was going to get the worst possible. What I meant by that was that when it first popped off, COVID first popped off, we didn't take it seriously enough, right? We didn't close down properly. We didn't like, you know, the political sphere, sphere was just like, nah, about it. And then the other side was like, ah, about it. So like, we were not on the same page as a country. Therefore, we didn't shut down quick enough. Therefore, we, there was no way we could control or suppress the virus from spreading. Because, you know, some places shut down really fast and hard and some places didn't. And then now we're at a point like months later to where like we're damn near in a recession in the US and in order to prevent like prevent like a proper depression, we have to start reopening the economy and start getting, you know, like money and people flowing around, but that also raises cases and cases on the rise. So like we're at a weird place in the US and like I I mean, I don't I'm not a politician, right? Nor am I like a social scientist. So I don't have a solution for this, but this is exactly where I thought we would end up when it first started popping off because it's like, well, I mean, this is the only this is logical the only place that you would end up when you don't close down, you don't care about it, but you care about the economy, and you have to. And then it's like, well, people are dying, but like, well, the economy. So that's what I meant. We're in a weird spot economically and COVID economically. So I hope you're all staying safe. Hope you're taking measures and precautions to keep you and your family safe. And hope you guys are still able to grind and play and enjoy Pokemon Go because even though we are in you know global pandemic quarantine status. The game is still good. The game is still growing. The game is still fun to play. And I hope you all can still soak that in. Because, again, we got you know we had a big month last month in Pokemon Go. We had a big month coming up in Pokemon Go. We got a dope update. We got a freaking, we got dope Go Fest. I'm excited. Hope you are, too. I'm going to go home and stream right now. Hopefully, we can nab a shiny in the last couple hours of the bug out event. That's not a freaking Scyther. I can't, uh, not Scyther, sorry, uh, Onyx. I, I can't fathom the fact that we got, I, as I was saying it, bro, as I was saying. All right, I'm gonna go hop the stream. See you guys in there. Let's go, shiny.